A nation surrounded by seas, Japan naturally has many ways to cook and eat fish. Today we'll look at kamaboko, a kind of cured fish paste. A puree of fish meat is steamed, then cooked, turning it into a form that can be stored safely. Kamaboko is made in many regional variations. Looking just like crab legs, these are also a type of kamaboko. This imitation crab meat is popular in many countries sold under the name surimi. In Japan, the best-selling kamaboko is this steamed variety sold in semi-cylindrical rolls. To make kamaboko, first the fish meat is rinsed several times to remove all fat and odors. Next, it's ground up in traditional stone mortars. Salt is added to the paste, which is carefully kneaded to bring out the flavor of the fish and make it more sticky. Finally, the smooth paste is shaped and spread onto a thin wooden board. There's a reason why kamaboko is traditionally stored on wood. It's done to prevent the fish from going off. The board absorbs water from the kamaboko and then allows it to evaporate. This is a very effective way to preserve the freshness of the fish. Kamaboko has a long history. The first written accounts date to the 12th century and describe how it was considered good luck to eat it at celebratory meals. Pink or red is a lucky colour, reminding us of the rising sun, and this style is still widely served at celebrations. It's an essential item in the traditional Japanese New Year meal. Toyama is a leading producer of kamaboko. It's especially famous for a kind called Saiku kamaboko, decorated with a range of lucky motifs. These include sea bream, traditionally symbolizing good fortune, and cranes and turtles to celebrate longevity. Any kind of congratulatory meal can feature Saiku kamaboko. These items are individually handcrafted in a process requiring much skill. The paste used for ornamentation is squeezed on from a piping bag. Here he's creating the details of the sea bream. Now he's making the crane's feathers. It takes over 10 years on the job to acquire this level of skill. It can often be difficult to get the colors exactly right. Saiku Kamaboko is a traditional craft handed down in this region for many generations. I feel a strong responsibility to keep the craft alive. That looks great! It's a young girl's birthday, so naturally there's Saiku Kamaboko. They'll eat one modeled after the lucky sea bream. Yummy! You'll also see this highly decorative type of kamaboko at weddings, where it's often used instead of a cake. For over a thousand years, kamaboko has been adding flavor and color to the important occasions in people's lives. <laughs>